I don't know, we've travelled three hours into the mountains to Catskill because when the plane landed at New York, we couldn't find him in New York. And now I'm told he's up above a police station here. I hope he's not banged to rights because I tell you what, I want to see you, brother. seem to have here a lot of friends in Catskill. Oh yeah, I started fighting here. Yeah. I'm a first fight here. But you can just walk around and nobody... Yeah, no, because no, it's funny, like when you're in the town, no matter how famous you are, when you're in the town and people see you every day and they knew you ever since you were 12 or 13 years old, it's really no big, they're happy to see you, they don't want to see you lose, they're happy, but it's not a big thing because they see you so often. That's you know right. They see you so often. So you, th this is why you, you really train here, yeah? yeah. Yeah. How, how important is Kevin Rooney to you as a trainer? You know, he's my trainer since I yeah. started out. You know, he's good, you know, plus his friends. I, mean, it's, it's, I never think about it. He just trained me and then we hang out. Yeah. You see, you seem to listen to everything that he says to you. Yeah, because he's my trainer. That's the job. Yeah. Is, is that the job is to you, fly you, and I listen. You don't feel now that you're a champ, that you, uh, you know it all then? No, can I say something? I know it all. You know what I mean? I just don't ex execute all of it. You know what I mean? His job is to, to continue, you know what I mean, the recess and the process of continuing to do it, to do it, to do it. Repetition, 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 until I do it right. I know everything, but I don't do everything. And you won 34 fights, uh, uh, 30 in, in, in straight knockouts, and you've beaten people like Tubbs, Piglin Thomas, uh, Bone Crusher Smith. Who was the hardest? That you fought you know, so it's hard. so funny to say that because after fights, you know, I, mean, I used to take them so casually. You know, what I mean, after it's over, I, I don't think about it. The fight is, I can't even recollect the fight because yeah. it's no so longer in my mind. You you don't actually remember how you no, you actually no. knock because people it's, out. It's, not, it's no longer tangible. It's no like it's not. I can feel the punch and crack on the head. I always have in my mind where I'm going to strike the blow. But it's, after the fight is over, it's just so it's just you know, what I mean. Or second motion. Is it all, almost when you step in the ring then, like stepping into another world? Well, not exactly. It's just that, you know, I mean, you're nervous, but you're, I'm very confident. I know this is my world because I've, I've been in here 34 times and I was successful. And so I'm extremely confident against the best men in the world in my division. Yeah. And I slaughtered them. Oh, well, everything is going Tyson's way. I think Berbick's come in tonight to show how brave and how tough he is. He's done that all right, but uh, that's not enough to hang on to your title. There it goes. Uh, there was a delay with that one. It was a peach of a punch in boxing terms. Completely gone. The legs are buckled under him there. He's really like a kid stumbling in a playpen. <laughs> what a peach of a left hook that was. And he's going to do it in the sixth because he's only midway through. And this is the way he finishes him off now. The master of the, the finishing stuff. What a fighter. Absolute ferocious. And what a game man. Oh, what a jab, that one. That's the way to break up the opposition's uh, concentration. And he did it there. As he hit him with that punch, I think his eyes went into separate orbits there. You strike me as being a very kind man outside the ring. How can you change the minute you go inside it yes i love it i love fighting you know like a lot of people think cuz probably thought it was crazy because you know the worst thing about fighting is waiting to fight and you know what i mean it's just like it's like i'm radical i can't wait to get in the rich dressing room because i know it's dead i love it i love it i like to get in there. i like to hurt when i'm in there maim or whatever i like to hurt gus D'Amato once said to you that you had to conquer fear how do you conquer fear see fear is something you must understand it's like what is your name once more again? Jim. Jim. It's, it's a feeling. It's like being hungry, being thirsty, having to go to the bathroom, and it's just a feeling. And being hungry, you don't panic, you know what I mean? You have to do something about the situation. Now, I know that one of your uh, people that you admire most is Joe Louis, yeah. and um, he won the title 25 times. 
Would you be going to beat that record? Well, I'm not much for. I'm not a record person anymore. I, hate, I mean, my main objective was being the youngest fighter ever to win the win the title. And I really believe deep down inside, I could have won the title at 19, been the first teenage heavyweight champion. Who would you have had to have beaten for that? I perhaps Holmes. Yeah. You think you could have beaten Holmes yeah. at 19? Yes. I'm very much sure. I would have beaten Holmes at 16, but I wasn't confident enough. I didn't know, but I knew everything to beat him. You know, I knew the technique, and I knew all the punches to throw, but I just didn't have the confidence. How is he managing the gym? Will count down clock, can he make the round or not? Roger, I can't believe he's still standing. These punches are tremendous punches, bang on target, and he's even trying to fall. Well, that's it. You're earning a lot of money. Uh, is the will still there each time, or does it diminish a little? Look, I did have, see, I'm the kind of person that has no regard and no respect for money. I mean, I, it's, my main objective is to make sure my family is well set, which they are, and the people that I care and love about, and who would be from the beginning is financially set. But other than that, I have no respect for money. You know what I mean? I continue to go where I normally go. I go in neighborhoods that normally I grew up in. And it's just that's part of my life. It's the way I choose to live. Who, in your opinion, having watched all that, is, is your favorite fighter of all time? Then? My favorite fighter, not necessarily, not probably the greatest, but my favorite fighter? Yeah. I, I love Joe Lewis. You love Joe Lewis? Yes, love Joe Lewis. Yeah. And who then, if, if you don't say that he was the greatest fighter, who do you think the greatest fighter was? Ray Robinson. Why do you think Ray Robinson? Because, you know, he had everything. He wasn't only like a classic fighter. You yeah. know, everyone has him labeled as a masterful boxer. Yeah. But he's more, he had determination, had the will to win. He refused to lose. I watched your workout on that punch bag. Now, you're in enormous physique. But everything seems to spring from your legs and, and, and your stomach. Is that true? Yeah, you know, I used to punch with the snap my, my shoulders and my legs. Uh, bringing the punches together with accurate and precision. You see, you, you tend to me to come up under people. No, because see, you misinterpret it because the object of the game is like when I hit the punch, like the punch, boom, boom, and then I twist it, and boom, and I'm at the side where you can't hit me. Like if you expect me to be here and you don't punch it here, you don't punch it here, but I'm here already and I'm perhaps going to hit you already a couple of times. Then you're interpreting that I'm jumping in the air and I'm going like, boom, and I'm yeah, not, you're not. So punching, I, I, I mean, twist and bing, bing. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'll get, I'll get, I'll get the food. My motto is either kill or be killed. I try my best to put his head right in the audience. He's getting some, he's getting shot. His body's broken up on him, Jim. And it's just as well he missed him with that one. Now in September, you're coming over to Britain to by Frank Bruno. And let me tell you, people in England, in Britain, love you. They, they, you. You're a hero in Britain, and you'll get a great welcome. Do you think you'll be able to handle Big Frank all right? I'm sure there's nobody on this planet that can beat me. And I'm very confident of that. I'm talking about, I'm not probably saying in a year from now, two years from now, I'm talking from at this moment right now. Anybody, any planet in the world, Did I tell you that son of the eyes who made these things? I could be inside. Huh? The guy made the eyes. The guy made the hammer at the As a matter of fact, I never saw his wife who covered him everywhere since he died. He never comes around it. Hey, Chuck. How's this one? All right, this is good. Yeah, that's good. I got some game. All right, let's see. How's that? All right? How's the white? You want to be white balance? All right. He's going to bring the light around. All right, that's good. How's that? All right.
Press F mic, okay. Okay. You can talk about whatever you want to talk about. Going to trials and doing whatever you want. It's very good, sir. Watch your shadow, Murray, okay? Stop walking around, Murray. Just find a place to sit down and sit down. Oh, okay. no? We're going to yeah. trial. Oh. You gonna take the train down, Chris? Hey, you going to take the train down and walk Yes, I am. Flying is the angels and the birds, and I'm neither. You and John Madden. The fellow said to me, well, he said, when your time is up, your time is up. I said, but the pilot's time may be up, and I don't want to go down with the pilot. I did come close to flying one time, many years ago, when uh, we had a return bound contract with Patterson to fight Johansson, and... Uh, they refused to go to it because the, the IBC had gotten a hold of him, putting the pressure down. And, uh... I'm going to stop you one second. Michael, before you get too far, uh... No, right from... No, you stay where you were. No, you don't worry about the phone. Right there's good. Okay. Uh... All right, guys, talk to Michael while he's wrapping his hands, okay? Mark, just talk to Mike. Look at him and talk. Look at Mike and talk to him, cuz. Yeah. Go ahead, whatever you're ready. Well, maybe I better just talk about what I was saying about Dempsey. Well, why don't you talk, talk about the trials that are coming oh, up? Like, oh, the what trials. You very well, do. very well. Well, you know, Mike, that almost everybody in the, in the trials that you will possibly meet in Fort Worth, you have already seen fight or have already fought. So that there are very few surprises, though there are a few fellows that I don't think you ever did fight or ever saw a fight. Those are members of the United States Services. Though you might have seen one or two of them, have you? I saw a couple of them fight, yeah. probably not any that come but to But the, there aren't any real surprises there. I think the outstanding fighters are the same fighters that we've seen one, more than once, several occasions. So that uh, we have a good idea what they're capable of doing. And knowing what you're capable of doing, I'm not very concerned if you're going to perform at the level that we have a right to expect of you. Now, how about, if there's anybody that you noted on the list of, uh, of the eight who are part of this Olympic trial elimination, were there any of those among the eight that you had not seen, or if you had seen, but didn't have a clear picture of? I saw everybody before. Every one of them, right? Except the guy from um, the army, like you yeah, said. Yeah, those are new ones, yes. Well, those are about the only ones I could think of. See, I knew that you were... Uh, I know that you know everybody, and I know you know exactly what they can do. You know all the best punches they have. And I know you make a point to memorize them as fighters. So, I know that you know how to handle them. I know that you have an answer for anything that they may try to do for you, or with you. So that, uh, I, I, can, I think the outcome is predictable. Well, I think Favorably so. predictable. Myself. Of course, I know you feel that way, even though you may not say so, but I know you feel that way. Which is the important thing. You know, the man should have the confidence that his ability will not be denied, especially when you know what your ability is. Nobody can, you know, to con you or anything like that, because you know what you can do. Okay. Now. You, even, you weren't even able to skip rope? No. no, I don't want to skip rope. Skip no, I mean, like, he wasn't even able to do that. No, I'm just thinking of something he can do lower body that doesn't involve the upper body. You know? See, I had, the reason why I said like about boom, skipping. Just, 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 to, just to be, you know, just move. Well, he found that very difficult. Okay. Okay. See, he couldn't, even, he couldn't even move his... Now, in skipping ropes, you know, only the wrist. He couldn't even do that. And he's an excellent rope sumper. Rufus, I was so surprised.
I love both of Well, see, what happened was I asked him to deduct that from the bill. Yeah, right. Whatever it was.
We didn't deduct it, I'll give it to you. What's wrong, man? What was he going to get it done by? Not for a couple of weeks. Oh, so you can do it next week, too, but I won't be in next week. Do what's going on. Well, I'll be back, back. I'll be back on the 11th. Watch your deuce that cost that much. Will you still be in? This weekend. Uh, well, if you can, yeah. Go home. If I'm not, I don't know if they're going home this weekend. Come here and said you weren't going home, were you? I won't be here tomorrow. I gotta go down the city. We're going down the city tomorrow. Yes, we are. I'm renting that car, right? Hmm? I'm renting that car. So I get, I get gas. Yeah. I get gas. Yeah. 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 Ye